Hi, welcome back. So um, now that you have your doing and your knit or you've applied for it, you can actually start house hunting. So you can get an idea as to the prices and what do you want. So like I said, the first thing you got to do is you have to think about whether you want a beach house or a city house or a mountain house, right? So in my, um, in my example or, or what I did is that I wanted, you know, a, a, an apartment or a house in the city because I felt that every time I went to El Salvador, I ended up staying in the city and then just driving to the different locations, whether it be a beach or a mountain. So I thought the best thing for me would be to live in the city. That way I can also Airbnb my house and I could be in a centrally located place. So I decided to look around and um, there's a lot of construction in El Salvador happening at this time. And that's because, you know, of all the, the beautiful things El Salvador has to offer and how much attention it's, it's gotten, especially with Bukele and you know, it's making a huge change to the country. So um, I decided to start looking into some of the buildings that were being built in San Salvador. Uh, specifically in the areas of like Santa Tecla, uh, La Zona Rosa, you know, all those nice areas uh, where, you know, things are happening and there's like life, you know, at night and in the daytime. And so I started looking at the different um, buildings that were being built. And what I found out was if they're in the process of building, it's a lot more affordable than if they're already built. So that's usually true for everything. If they're in the stage where they're just barely building and they don't have a, you know, an example to show you like a, you know, like one of those demo houses or anything, then it's a lot more affordable. Once they've, they're done completing the project, it's about 10 to 20% higher in price. So I thought maybe I can start looking into that because, you know, I'll save some money. But then the downfall is you have to wait a year to two years until they're finished. So then I thought maybe that wasn't the best thing for me. But, you know, once I started looking in San Salvador, you're looking at about a price between $200,000 to $400,000 for an apartment in San Salvador. So if you think you're ready to invest that kind of money into one of those high rise buildings in San Salvador, think about spending anywhere between $200,000 to $400,000. In my next video, I will discuss the other different homes available and what I opted to go for. Thank you. Bye.